Hey guys, new video here. Speed spawning Cyrus in 3.10. Uh, I'm gonna explain how I like to do it. I'll try to keep this uh, pretty short, but after the explanation, I'm just gonna do one because I, I know like when you're like hearing something like uh, that might, might, might not make sense or like you don't know exactly how it's done. So I'm gonna do the explanation, then I'm gonna show you one spawn and talk about some of the, uh, the little like the considerations, okay? so. What I noticed is that, let's just go to some dump taps here. These are some dump taps for Shores and Misa, which I personally think are the best ones for spawning Cyrus really quickly. And the reason you would do this is because let's say you're bored of mapping a lot, you're bored of like delving, you're bored of doing like all this stuff in PoE, and you just want to like spam down some Conquerors, because with every Cyrus, there's four Conquerors to kill. They can drop Awakened Gems, they can drop their specific Exalted Orbs, and it's not like too rare. Uh, well, the Awakened Gems from the Conquerors is kind of rare, but the Exalted Orbs aren't like rare enough where you're like, oh, I'll never get one, right? And they can sell for a, um, a lot of monies right now. So, one thing I noticed is if I go to my uh, like dump tabs and stuff, and I type in tier to get the maps, uh, you just have tons of maps, right? Like, just, I'm picking up tier 14 and above only the red maps uh, because that's what I need to spawn the guy. And also, what uh, if I didn't? If I picked up everything below, if I had some different watchlands or something, it'd just be too much stuff. So I have like, um, you can see like from days of mapping, you just have like too many maps, right? Uh, I'm gonna go to my map tab. I don't even know how many I have now, but uh, yeah. So I have uh, 2,000. T14s, 2,000 of them. And that's mostly because I do normally tier 14s and 15s. So uh, I get tier 14s because Barrel Chambers is very popular this league. You're gonna get tons of those. And then usually you're gonna drop some plus ones, you get some T15s. And when I'm speed spawning these from the boss, they can drop a map as well. So, you know, that's a lot of T15s. But if I were to do mostly T15s and T16s, you would also have thousands of the um, respective tier that you're doing, like literally thousands, okay? So, with these, you'll see that I burn white maps to spawn Cyrus. I'll go a little bit into that. And you might be like, wait, isn't that value? But nobody really sells maps like this anymore. So you can think of these as burner maps. They are they are worthless, okay? Think of these maps as worthless maps because the maps that I would run personally are things like Canyon T16. I would run uh, Barrel Chambers T14, okay? So because those are the only two maps that I would normally run and I don't sell maps. Uh, besides like unique maps, shape or other maps, then every other map is completely worthless to me to the point where like if I have like 72, which is what can fit in one of these tabs, I would actually like convert them up. For example, like these, I have 72 barrel chambers here, it's a full tab. Obviously I wouldn't convert these because I run barrel chambers, but if it was like some garbage, like uh, uh, I don't know, uh, a desert or something, I would convert these up, right? And get to T16 so you can do some horizon orbiting. I digress. Let's say that you want to spawn Cyrus. What does that require? This is a clean atlas, I, I've killed a redeemer already. But what it requires is that you pick a zone that has a good map that's very speedy. You'll need a map that has an easy to access boss that is not phased because phasing will, will lose you a lot of time. I'm talking like, like it will double, triple uh, your runtime to spawn a Cyrus. The best number of maps that you can run to get a Cyrus is 24 because um, I'll just show you real quick. Let's just proc one. So we put in the shore and here's how you do it. I recommend Shore and Misa again. I'll talk about the intricacies um, as I go once I once I get this proc so I can show you the, the little bar here, okay? So you go in and the first proc always requires you to kill mobs. You can't just rush the boss. Ooh, there we go. I have my sound on. Okay, so I'm killing mobs, right? It doesn't matter if you hit the mirror or not, right? Uh, and you can see here I proc, right? You can, you can tell a proc happens by the voice line. You'll probably hear it. You'll see the giant burst of color. Um, I always kill the boss because on red maps, I have a, a very high chance of getting a master mission. You can see how many master missions I have for the red maps. Um, and then also the boss can drop things like a headhunter because if you look at the middle number here, all kinds of stuff can drop the cortex, shaper elder maps, uh, other synthesized alter distant memories, things like that. And of course, uh, league specific uniques. Very exciting, okay? So I always rush and kill the boss, but the first spawn, you see this bar right here? The very first spawn always requires you to kill mobs. Uh, I'll give you an example. If I went in here and I didn't attack at all at the beginning, like you saw, and I didn't kill a single mob, I just rushed to the boss and killed the boss, one mob. That would never, that would almost never spawn the conquer unless like my projectiles chained off of them and kill the pack. Okay, this is very important to note because 
you cannot proc uh, a conqueror by running through the map it's just impossible you have to kill monsters uh usually it's just a few packs uh some might seem to take longer but usually it's like you know maybe 50 to 100 monsters sometimes instantly okay you do not need to clear the map and once again these are burners we are going for speed clear because cyrus can drop some really juicy stuff and we are doing it on awakener 8 okay so i've gotten the initial proc what do i do now so now i'll talk about like like the theory behind it and the um the method behind it once you get the proc so this bar right here gives you all the information you need okay uh the reason i said it took 24 maps minimum to kill a cyrus is because if you look at this bar it's going to be uh, rng one out of three chance of getting a five node a seven node and a nine node and nodes just mean how many squares do i have how many maps to spawn him okay this is important because it is completely rng the five node is not weighted uh less than a nine node so your average is seven maps um given that you've procced it already or i guess six more maps after you've procced it uh to get the cyrus kill so overall seven nodes um so the fastest will be a spawning on the first one and game five nodes four times for four conquerors that's 20 maps and then where's other four maps the other four maps is you have to go into the the conquer map itself to get the boss fight right so that's four extra maps 24 maps you get to talk to um this young lady right here and then she'll open the cyrus citadel so 24 maps minimum and if you get really unlucky right like you see how i got unlucky this is considered unlucky a nine node because not only like in regular play not only is it a lot more maps you can count the squares right see i need eight more maps if you hover over here uh but also those blue bars are like having an extra four sextants at least on there because even more than four sextants because some sextants are garbage that don't actually add monsters these are guaranteed monsters right so that's pretty insane okay so this is an unlucky note this is nine nodes if you get really unlucky it's gonna be a nine node uh four times nine is 36 plus the four conqueror boss fights that's 40 maps compared to 24 to get a cyrus spawn okay and that's that's only now i have gone four by nine it's really really annoying it feels so long and i also have go i haven't gone four by five i've gone three by five and one by seven uh so that feels really really good because like it, it lessens the time in between the big like super juicy sex and pack size if you're playing normally but um for our purposes of speed spawning the only thing that matters is number of nodes because that is the number of maps okay um hold on can you wait one uh one sec um all right, so that's the indie. Okay, so I got 34 exalt trade. Wow, wow, what is this? Hello, Kido, I'm a POE noob. Can you tell me if this is good or only trash? Let's take a look. Oh, that's that's trash. That's complete trash. Yeah, you are a noob. Okay, I, I'm, just, I'm just kidding. Um, I just don't do price checks because I would have to go to POE trade. I have to go to the, the trade site to check that. So there's no way I would know if that's good or not. Okay, so uh, I digress the um after you've gotten the spawn i was talking about this gives you all the information you need okay because yellow box means that you have completed that one map and then so a gray box for the next map means that the next map i go in this means i need to kill the boss okay what i mean by that is uh this is, might seem simple to some of you guys but if i put in the shore map right in this zone to get the proc I could kill every monster in the map besides the boss and it wouldn't fill in this this gray box okay if i go in there and i skip every mob in the entire zone and i only kill the boss it will fill this in with yellow so these gray boxes and then the blue box as well you need to fill in and change them to yellow to get the speedy proc okay so for and, and so for example the speed proc is like this i'll just show you one more time here okay i put it in while it's activating you can save some time by putting in another map so when you come back out you can spawn the next one so this one i'll show you exactly what i mean the um you can like check this if you want see gray box right so i know like the the layout of shore is really good because no matter what box it is because a blue box you you need to kill mobs to get the spawn you can't just kill the boss i know it's kind of confusing right see you see how fast this is i get here i kill them all right boom yellow bar filled in i didn't kill any other mobs right and i, I can just leave okay now i would recommend on the ones that do only require um a boss kill which is the um which is the 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 
the gray ones, you just rush them as fast as possible, okay? Skip all the mobs because these are white maps. No sextants, by the way. Um, and then for the blue ones where you do need to kill mobs, uh, on these, you kill the packs first, get the proc right, make sure you got it, and then kill the boss anyways because, remember, it's super fast. It, doesn't ta it takes a few more seconds, and you are, um, I am at a 45% chance to get one of these masters for when you're actually running maps. You can add master, and that's how I have so many Nikos, right? It's really crazy. And um, also, like for other things, for example, if you're if you're doing like Misa, you actually get a lot of barrel chambers if it's weighted, and then if if you don't have barrel chambers weighted, you get a lot of toxic sewers. So it's really good to get these extra maps as well from the boss. Okay, so as you saw, uh, I got a um, I got the kill. So here's how you do it: speed spawn, speed spawn, speed spawn, kill the boss for the gray nodes. The blue node, once again, you need to spawn the conquer by killing monsters. Okay, I can't stress this enough. If you go in here, once again, the blue node, and that's the map. So let's say like, like I had four yellow squares and the blue node, right? I put in a shore map. If I rush the boss and kill the boss, it's a high chance that he won't proc, it won't turn yellow. You have to kill monsters around him until you see the voice line or you see the color burst, and then it will fill in. Okay, very important distinction. Gray boxes, you do need to kill the boss. You don't need to kill any monsters but the boss to fill it in if you don't want to, okay? You might want to kill monsters on the way just because you're feeling flash charges or something and you're moving faster or whatever. Um, but yeah, so gray boxes, you have to kill the boss. Blue box, you don't have to kill the boss but you do need to kill monsters to, um, to proc the conquer. Boss is not enough, okay? That is what you'll do. And you'll get kind of into a rhythm of this because if you get a five node, there's only one gray box in between these. So it'll be, you'll get the spawn, gray box, you'll kill the boss, blue box, you'll spawn monsters. And well, once again, I recommend killing the boss anyways, but you'll kill monsters, gray box, you'll kill the boss, blue box, you'll kill some monsters, and then boom, you're done. You, you'll fight the conquerors, right? Once the bar fills up, you will talk to this guy first, you talk to her, kill the, kill the, um, kill the conquer and then do it all over again. Common question I get asked is, can I spawn all four conquers in one zone? And yes, you can, that's exactly what I do. Um, the conquer is here, uh, I can like, this is uh, this is Al Hazmin, right? So I kill him and I'll do Veritania, uh, Baran and Drox in the exact same zone, even on the exact same map if you want, okay? You can't spawn these conquers on Zava maps, you can't spawn them in like unique maps and stuff, so it just has to, just pick one map, okay? Now, let's go over why I personally chose Shore and Misa. You might have some other opinions on this, but Shore is my absolute favorite. And why is that? Because when I go into Shore, as you saw, the layouts are always the same, right? The, the boss is always a straight shot because um, you kind of know there's like two layouts, like different directions. But you see this, like this is the portal, uh, the portal wall, the portal was right here, like, like right here. And it's always a direct straight shot to the boss. And not only is the boss outside of a room, like he, he doesn't have a room, right? Um, you see how like when, I, when you encounter him, he's right here in the open. Uh, Misa has a door that spawns like like one of the cardinal directions and it can be kind of weird to click on that and come back out and stuff like that. Um, it's, just, it's just personal preference, right? It's kind of weird. But another thing is, do you see like this is a white map and obviously like the, the conquer spawned his things, but on the way to the boss, do you see how there's like a lot of monsters I killed there? Like, like straight shot. I didn't, I didn't have to go out of my way to kill some packs of monsters. You see that? Um, obviously most of them are dead, but before there was a lot of them. And why is this important? Because like I said, on the blue bars, okay, the blue boxes, you do have to kill monsters to spawn. And the initial tick, right, if this was like, for example, if I was in Valdo's Rest, the initial spawn, you very rarely will be able to get that by just killing the boss. You have to kill monsters around. So if I'm killing the boss anyways to get a master mission and possible like really good drops from this, then it makes sense that I want to make sure that there's no chance in hell that on my way to the boss like this, I can't proc on a blue box, right? I, ha I have to be able to proc it on the way there. Otherwise, I'm, because on Misa, if I rush the boss, it is a straight shot and you just go in the door and stuff, for sure, whatever, it's not that big a deal, but um, there is chances when you're running white Misas that there's not enough monsters between you at the start of the map and rushing the boss. There might, in some cases, not be enough monsters to get a proc, okay? This is a very small thing, and on average, if you are disciplined and extremely quick, Misa will be faster, okay? It's just a shorter map, I can show you in a bit. Um, so that is why. Uh, and and let, me, let me just put in a Misa, I don't care if I really like proc these sections or whatever, so I'll put in a Misa here, and uh, let, me, let me go ahead and, let me go ahead and do this. So, 
product things that I imagine I'm just like speed playing here. And I, I highly recommend you choose one zone because you can fill up your inventory with the same map. Going between zones is super awkward because like, let's say you proc like a five and a, a, a seven or a five and nine, five, nine. You're gonna like get like mismatch and you gotta like pay attention to what you're putting in. It's much, much, much better to fill your inventory within, with one of a certain map and then go, 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 go. Trust me, way easier, way less hassle. So imagine that I'm only spawning on Misa. I did not spawn the Al Hazmin. I have uh, two more conquerors to do, so this will probably be an easy proc here. So I go in, okay, so, the layout, you can always just rush, right? But the first proc, once again, I do need to kill monsters, right? So the boss is over here somewhere on the minimap. Someone kills some monsters, and sometimes, it, oh, I got in the first one, see? So there's a Drock. So since I got the proc, you saw it. Oh, it's a seven node, look at that. I'm gonna go in, right? I'm gonna go in here, I'm gonna kill the boss anyways. Now, I didn't have to kill the boss because the first proc, it's already yellow, right? But I kill him, look, at I got a June Master Mission, amazing. This guy drops burials, chambers, all the time, like half the time probably, all right? I know it's not exactly half, you can calculate it's like 40 something percent, but you know what I mean. Okay, so I killed him and then see, now I got the proc here, I can spam some spam. Now, that is a theory behind it. Um, little things to note in here. Uh, make sure you're doing incubator and stuff because you, on the way you will start killing a lot of mobs, you know, level some offhand gems. It's not much XP because you're rushing, but it does help, okay? Uh, you can also do things, you can change your setup. Get a very fast character that has either a dash second win, flame dash second win. I, I don't have it because it's my boss killing character. Uh, but get everything on your character set up for movement speed. Like, I would say, even though if you're gonna play a long time, you can even use like a lab runner that has like like super movement speed, like super bossing ability uh, to rush really fast and you can get these down to, uh, you can probably get awakener spawns down to like 15 minutes, you know, if you are extremely quick. Uh, the best I ever did in one stream was 15 awakener spawns. And I always say, you know, on stream you're inefficient, right? Cause you're doing memes, you're watching YouTube videos, you're talking to the chat, you're not really focused. I find that when I'm not focused, I, I like, forget that I'm speed spawning and I'll just like start randomly full clearing a map. Don't do that, okay? You can probably, if you do this method, you can probably proc, let's say you play like eight hours a day, you can probably proc 20 to 30 awakeners, I'm gonna say, probably. Uh, if you if you have a character for it and you're just like speedy, like go, 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 go mindset, okay? And why is that important? Because awakener does drop good stuff. From one awakener to the next, you're probably gonna get a profit crown or a crimson jewel. It's gonna suck, and you're gonna think you're unlucky. But in the long run, you will get big monies from awakener. Okay, it's it's good. Um, and also remember, the maps are free. If you're just chilling, if you don't want to do any other kind, of, like you know, there's a lot of micromanagement in this game. You got to put in sections, you got to put in the watchstones, you got to like do all this weird stuff. Awakener is pretty straightforward. You don't have to use these maps if you don't want to, right? Like like I showed you here. I have thousands of maps of T14 burners. I can use whatever I want, take your shitty maps, run them, uh, and uh, and they're not really wasted, right? Because you're never gonna sell the shitty maps. You can run any, if you want to do different zones, you can, but the, the goal is to fill up this bar as soon as possible, okay? So that is the method, and now what I'm just gonna do this video is now over. If you understood what that is, uh, you, you can stop watching and thanks for watching my video. But if you want some more example, I will take the Misas here, okay? And I will just go ahead and do a full spawn and talk through it, okay? And so you can kind of follow along and do that with every other zone. So what I noticed here is that I've gotten the proc. Another, another quick note is that um, you might get mad at a nine node, right? But here's the thing to note. If you have an empty area that you're trying to spawn for the first time, you haven't run any maps, like you just killed Cyrus, if you get a nine node on the first instance run, like you see how that drops proc on the first map run in the zone? That is amazing. You should be very happy about that, okay? Because there's going to be times you don't always proc uh, a, a conqueror on the first try. You see how I have Veritania defeated and I have Drox and Al Hazmin? That means Baran is yet to be spawned. So let's say I want to spawn Baran right here in, this, in any clean area. It might take three or four maps. I think it's like a one in three chance. It might take three, four maps sometimes to spawn him initially. And what that means is that, let's say it takes four times. Then that means even if you get a five node, right it's not really a five node because you took four of them to and this has happened before it's you took four of them to spawn the initial so it's actually a nine node so if you get on a clean area a nine node do not despair because um although it takes longer on average it's still good that you got on the first node okay like the seven node is really good because i got on the first node so it's actually pretty goddamn good 
just a little side note mentally to not get like discouraged to get like a lot of nine nodes uh, and then just a different way of thinking about it. So now I will do this one. So what I notice is like, let's say you like Misa. I uh, don't don't run Sextants, don't Ouch, don't do anything, else, okay? So they're clean. Oh, don't run Ivory Watch Sons either. So I notice that these next two maps, I just have to kill the boss. I do not need to kill any mobs, right? Because they are gray square. So I put one in while that one's loading. I put in another map because it'll, it'll just be ready when I get out. And now I rush the boss, right? Because I do not need to kill any mobs. I know the boss is always in the center. I flame dash up here. I see the uh, the arena. I pop my flask. I kill him. Pharaoh Chambers and a June mission. Amazing. I get back out. And right when I get back out, I click on my map device. I activate right amazing amazing efficiency put another map in there i've turned my map device so the first portal spawns closest to my 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 like desired clicking location okay so this one i don't need to kill any mobs but i might do it just for the um just for the flash charge and stuff see you see how like like the door spawns in a different area and then if you're bad at clicking you might like double click the door or whatever so i go ahead and i kill the boss look at that alba mission amazing see it filled in the bar right each one of those filled in the bar and now i go back and i know that the next one i have to proc monsters right there's no way to proc the guy without proccing monster so i go back i i activate this i put another map and this one is the blue um the blue uh the blue square here for drox so what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna kill monsters here and see proc so now after i proc i don't need to kill any other monsters because you filled in the yellow bar and at that point right when you get that proc you could leave for true speed spawn you do not need to kill the boss okay the reason, once again, that I do it is look how fast it is. I was a proc and I'm right here in a couple seconds. I get a free Ironheart mission, which is amazing, and I would have had a chance of burials. Bears are still selling for uh, a decent amount in bulk. So there you go. Now, I go back to town. I have one of the map device. I activate. I click on the map device, put in another one while it's activating. And now look, two more maps where I just need to kill the boss. So I go in. I start teleporting towards the center, right? Pop my flask for movement speed. And then I see the, I see the door, right? I go in, boom. All right, look at that, barrel chambers. Wow, the monies. Uh, and then I go out. So next one uh, again, right? See, it's a gray box. I need to just kill the boss. I go in. I start dashing towards the middle here. All right, here we go. And look, I see the uh, I, I see the door right here. I go in. I kill him. June mission. Wow, look at all these master missions I'm getting. Okay. Now this one, let me just show you what might happen if you're not focused, okay? So right now, I know that the next one I do procs the Drox and I'll have the, the Conqueror fight. So, and this one's a blue one, so I have to kill packs of mobs. And this is what I, what I meant when I said that, like why I like Shore better. Um, because sometimes between, uh, if you're not paying attention, you're just going to the boss, like some, some, there's like one pack there, right? And there's like some packs, so like this, this would've been fine, but sometimes there won't be enough packs to proc, uh, very rare case. And let's, okay, okay, hold on. Let me, let me get this. Okay, you see how it hasn't proc yet? Uh, it might proc on this guy because I killed some other dudes. Uh, but no, it didn't, see? So if you rush the boss, ooh, Toxic Sewer, right? Because it's a connector and a June mission. See how good that is to kill the boss? And, and once again, he could drop a Headhunter or a Cortex or a Shape or other map. Okay, you see what happened there? If, you get, if you're not focused, you get the mindset of just killing the boss sometimes, it did not proc. And, and sometimes it, you will just, you'll go like this. You'll leave the zone and you'll be like, wait, what the hell? And you won't even notice that you like you didn't do it. You might think that you filled in this yellow square, right? Because because the blue square, the last one, you have to kill mobs, not just the boss. So I go here and then let me just show you. See, boom, there's the burst. It is not enough to kill the boss. And then there we got it. Okay. So once again, I have to reiterate this. Gray squares means you have to kill the boss. You don't have to kill a single other monster. Blue square, you do not have to kill the, the boss, but you do have to get the proc from the monsters. Now, the monster might be the boss. Like, let's say you kill like 50 mobs, and then you tag the boss, and you and you and you kill the boss. Very rare occasions it will spawn the boss because it is a monster, and maybe it hits like a threshold or something. I don't know, but just keep in mind that blue squares, you gotta kill monsters until you um, get the proc. Okay, uh, this one I'm I'm actually gonna. Uh, I might I might do the Nico just because I want the favor for hideout decorations, but that that's how it works. Like at, at this point, you would leave after killing the boss, and then you would have the um you'd have the fight. Okay, where where's the um where where's the Nico? Okay, once again, you don't need to. Do, I'm just doing this because uh you get ten thousand master favor and hideout decorations are cheaper now after the patch. But uh, I might need it for um I might need it for uh, what's it called uh, hideouts in the future. Yo, where, where's this where's this fuel? Where, where's the fuel? What the What's, okay, you know what? Screw it. I can't find the fuel. So that's how you proc the, the conquerors. Once again, I'm going to just go back and talk to this guy, right? I talk to this guy, and boom. See? Droxa Citadel is complete.
I'll do the same thing with Viper, and then I, and then I do any, whatever, whatever zone you want is fine, okay? Whatever burner maps you want to use is fine. Don't look at the maps as value, because they aren't. It's this big money from the Cyrus. And I'll do the, um, the Brom that's missing, right? And then, uh, and that's it, and I have a Cyrus. You can see how fast that was, right? Like, I hope I showed you how fast it is to proc a Conqueror. And this is why I don't get like, like the Reddit, uh, Reddit post just crying about like, you know, Cyrus too hard, I can't spawn Cyrus. I spawn one Cyrus a month, I, I spawn one Cyrus the, the entire league. You know, uh, you can spawn 15, 20, 30 Cyruses a day like this for free. Uh, and and it might be a nice diversion to your usual content. It might make you play a little, enjoy the game a little bit longer. And uh, and that's it. So um, what else do I need to talk about? Is that it? That's about it. Okay. Um, make sure you kill your Cyrus on Awakener eight. Okay. If you don't kill your Cyrus on Awakener eight, it's like expected return goes down dramatically. Uh, so that's my video. Thank you guys for watching. If you guys have any more questions, uh, stream every day on twitch.tv slash cutedog underscore. Uh, links are below. And uh, you can ask me any questions uh, there. Okay, thanks for watching my video, guys. Really appreciate it. Okay, bye, guys. Bye. Bye.